everyone, this is um, Stephanie, or Bandit Stephanie. I have been saying I'm going to make a video now for a couple days, so um, I'm actually doing it now. I figured today is my two-week um, post-op lap band surgery, so I did not do a week one, so I will do a week one, week two update altogether. So, I will start with the numbers. Um, Pre-op, I was... 313.6 pounds. I did a two-week pre-op diet that started March 1st and on the morning of my surgery day I weighed 295.6 so that was a loss of 18 pounds. Um, week one which would have been last Tuesday my surgery was March 15th so week one last Tuesday I weighed 283.4 so that was a loss of 12.2 pounds um, week two, which is today, I weigh 281.4, so that's only a loss of two pounds this week, and I'll get into uh, why I think that is. But um, my total weight loss um, since I started the pre-op diet was, um, or has been a total of 32.2 uh, pounds, and that's in four weeks. So overall, I'm very, very happy um, about that. But the reason why I have um, not been on is because I had some complications due to my surgery. Um, so I had mentioned in my previous video that I could not keep any fluids down in the hospital. Um, the surgeon actually had to take out all the fluid in my band, which is 2.5 cc's. So my band is now empty, um, and <clears throat> sorry, my dog's barking in the background. Um, so once my surgeon took out um, all the fluid, everything was okay. I went home. Um, incision uh, spots are healing great. I, I feel good. Um, I've been able to keep down liquids. Um, I've been doing protein shakes and everything. But I think I mentioned on my last video that my arm was hurting me, specifically the arm that they put the IV in. And um, I mentioned that I'm a very hard poke, and it took them eight or nine times before they finally uh, was able to put an IV in um, on the inside of my left wrist, which is also my dominant arm. I'm left-handed. Um, so after, right after surgery, I noticed that my arm was beginning to hurt my, um, my wrist and my forearm. And I, I was just kind of worried because that hurt more than my actual stomach hurt. So I went into the ER on Sunday um, after my surgery. So five days after my surgery, I went into the ER. And I had said, you know, I'm kind of worried about blood clots. Um, just want to come in and, and get my arm checked out, uh, make sure everything's okay. So saw an ER doctor. Um, he said, w he was in the room for maybe five minutes, not even. He said, I can tell by looking at your arm, you do not have blood clots. It's just a muscle strain from your arm being out on um, the boards during surgery and he was whipping my arm around and you know touching it and I'm like oh you know that really hurts and he said oh well you know your surgery must have been like what five or six hours and I'm like no it was actually only an hour and he said well you know it's just it's from your arm being out on there he gave me a piece of paper on muscle strain told me to put some um, hot and cold compresses on it and then let me be on my way so I left there thinking, whew, okay, I, I don't have blood clots, you know, I'm maybe just worrying about um, nothing. So went about my day, um, was supposed to go back to work the following Monday, um, the next day, and I did not go because my arm was hurting me so bad. And, you know, I kept telling everybody, like, my arm hurts, I, it, it just it really, really hurts. And, and my dad said, well, it, you know, blood clots hurt really bad, and if... I think you'd know if you had blood clots, and I'm, and I told him, I said, well, on a scale from 1 to 10, my arm hurts about an 11, so if that says anything um, as the kind of pain I was going through. So, didn't go to work Monday, went into work on Tuesday, probably shouldn't have. Um, my boss is the only one there who knows about what's going on, and showed her my arm, and she said, you know, you really need to get that checked out. Call your surgeon's office. So I called them. And immediately they got pretty worried about what was going on and ordered me to get my arm um, 
get an ultrasound on my arm, sent me over to a hospital, got a what they call ultrasound Doppler, um, duplex, whatever you want to call it, on my left arm. Um, and I was actually watching as the girl was doing it, and I saw these big round things in my arm and my wrist, and um, was kind of afraid to ask her, but I said, are, are those blood clots? And she, she looked at me and she said, yeah, they are. And I said, okay, well, you know, I had done a little research on blood clots. Um, are they the superficial blood clots or are they the deep vein blood clots? And she said, unfortunately, you have both. So um, immediately that scared me. They called my surgeon's office. They said, go home for the night. We're going to send you to a vascular surgeon on the next morning and we'll go from there. Um, sorry this is so long. I'm trying to be quick. Um, so sent me to a vascular surgeon um, Wednesday morning. Went in. He evaluated my ultrasound and everything and immediately sent me over to the hospital which is right across the street from his office. He's, I asked him, I said, how many blood clots do I have? Um, how risky are these? And he wouldn't give me any information. He said, does it really matter if you, how many you have? If you have more than one, it, you know, um, that's all that I need to worry about. He said, um, I don't want to be too serious about it, but you do need to go right over to the hospital. So I was admitted through the ER um, where I waited 11 hours until I got a room. Um, I was in the hospital for a total of four days. They um, gave me a lot of the the shots in my stomach, so the blood thinners that they call it like Lovenox or something. So I got those regularly in my um, stomach, and you know, not to mention the the eating in the hospital was not very good. This hospital does not do do weight loss surgeries, so they weren't familiar with uh, my type of diet at all. I could not get an Ensure shake for the life of me. They said it had to be a doctor's order. So one morning my mom brought me up a protein shake and I just tried to make do on tomato soup and um, I wasn't moving around and I thought, you know, oh, I'm going to lose some weight being in here. And I got home and I hadn't lost a pound. Or actually I gained two pounds. Um, so I attribute that, I guess, to not moving around, just being very... Um, lethargic in my hospital bed for four days. Um, so I was released on Saturday. They did another ultrasound and said that the blood clots are still there, but they sent me home with um, the do-it-yourself shots. So I have been giving myself shots in my stomach and also taking um, uh, a medication to, to help thin the blood. Um, I have a home health care place that's coming over my house like every day. Um, my arm still hurts. I've been out of work. So it's needless to say it's been kind of a rough ride. Um, I generally try to stay positive about things and and I'm still trying to stay positive about this. It's just it's really hard because um, you know they said this could take three months for the blood clots to dissolve in which case my exercise is going to be very delayed because they said I can't even lift more than five pounds with my left arm. So um, it's just, it's a setback. You know, I I talked to my surgeon. He called me on my phone and he said, we were talking and I said, well, you know, uh, nothing in life comes easy, but um, it's just a, just a setback. And he actually told me, he said, he's he has patients who are worse off, who have been, through hell and back and they still say that they would do this over again if they had the chance to. So maybe I'm not to that point yet. Maybe in a year or you know when I'm to my goal weight I will look back and say hey it was all worth it. I'm glad I did it but at this point I'm not feeling that. Um, it's kind of hard to focus on on my weight loss and all that when I have to worry about this arm and and getting my blood drawn every day and you know there's just these things that I'm thinking about that I wish I didn't have to think about um, you know I feel like a 80 year old lady um, having these at home health care people coming over and checking on me and you know I can't even pretty much dry my own hair and it's just um, it's interesting but um, I wanted to tell you guys that's why I haven't been around. Um, I'm doing okay. Um, my, see this video is getting kind of long so I'll try to wrap it up but one last thing is um, I feel like before I went 